Uh, right. Mine is actually very similar to what you just asked me. Okay. So you've spent a lot of time going around to different uh, companies and different uh, <clears throat> different teams, and hopefully you've been very successful at it. Obviously, uh, I hear you're working on another book, maybe. So I want to know what has been your most difficult team or individual that you had to turn around, and what made that so difficult, especially with from an expert in your field as you are. Mm. So we're talking about an individual that I've had to turn around. Individual or team, well, whichever one uh, you know you think would tell the best story. Okay, well, I I will share with you um, an example of a team that I'm still hoping to work with because I don't think I've quite turned them around as far as I'd like to turn them yet. Um, so there's a team that I worked with that um, when they first originally came to me, they said, we've got a, a customer service issue. You know, we, we have people that don't want to provide customer service. We don't provide great customer service. And um, I was able to look at some of their secret shoppers report. I actually went to the facility and they're doing pretty darn well. Like from, from everything that I could see, they were doing well. But there was a perception internally that they weren't providing great customer service because they had people at different parts of the organization that weren't always supposed to provide customer service, but they were being called to do it at certain times when it was busy and so on. You know how that goes. Um, well, there was a lot of pushback from those people to want to come provide, um, you know, to go into those customer service roles because they had other things to do. Um, but when I really got down to it, it really came down to, and I know you're not going to be surprised by this, it came down to communication issue. And so what I realized after I started working with them is, first of all, I went in and, and we did a, a customer service um, uh, type training, you know, and, and kind of um, refocusing on, on what some of those things that they, they were, should be doing and things like that. Right. Um, and then I got to really spend time with people and realize that while they probably could have used some of those customer service tips, what was really going on behind the scenes was a was this really nasty communication issue and leadership type issue and so i worked with them again and i, I said okay we, we're going to tackle this communication piece and it probably didn't go as smoothly as i would have liked it um and i will take you know some of the some of the blame for that by the, probably the way i i approached it um because what I did was I brought a whole bunch of people together to focus on this. And that really wasn't my first gut reaction. My gut reaction was let's get the two or three people that really have issues together and bring them together, steel cage death match, and let's really work this out. Well, then as I got talking to the client and things, and it kind of seemed to, to spread a little bit further than um, what, what I was originally thinking about doing. And so, again, we brought in this whole group. Um, and I, I don't think we got to some of the core issues that were really um, impacting the team, um, at least not as deep as we could have. So where it was unfortunately left was that there was a couple of people that felt like they were attacked. And they felt like because we were talking about communication styles and, and how people, how different people, um, you know, interact with one another, it was the people that are, you know, more aggressive and, and more, um, uh, forthright with their communication that they felt like they were being um, attacked because this was the only time the other people had ever actually communicated to them how they really felt, right? right. So there, ne there had never been any feedback to them and they were some of the senior people in the organization. So um, some of the people that we, wor we worked with in that session really got a lot out of it and they told me that you know this was great and, and thank you so much for this and it's really helped me on a personal level. But there's still some, some, at least in my mind, some nagging issues there communication-wise where I don't see that the people um, that really needed it, I don't think they really got that they were as much of the issue as they, as they really are. So I chalk that up as one of the things that, you know, if I could go back and do it again, I would love to approach it differently. If I can, you know, work on getting back with them, I, I definitely would approach it differently to try to, to try to fix it. So that's probably right. one of the, one of the ones that's kind of sticking in my side a little bit. Because there's some unresolved conflict going on over there. Exactly, and and quite frankly, and I'm, I'll just be real honest with you, I think I, I, I may have caused some of the conflict because I, I told you what's that landmine Land exactly. Well, I do stuff on because. I didn't go with my gut on how I felt like it should have been handled in the first place. And um, 
that's why I think, you know, it's, it's one of those things that if I could do it again, I would do it much differently. Um, I know I can't, so I can just kind of keep an open relationship with them and, and, you know, hopefully someday I can, I can get back there and, and, um, help them in the way that I, that I, I know I can, if I kind of go with my gut, if that makes sense. If the check clears, right? Yeah. Well, the check is cleared. So that's <laughs> always good. Um, but you know, you, you bring up a, an interesting point because, when I was working at Universal and, and, you know, you would come to my classes and other people would come to my classes and um, there, there, was a, there was a responsibility there. But now that I'm working on my own, I feel even more of a weight to really give people, you know, the, you know what's, what's going to be worth it for them because they're right. paying me. They're bringing me to their place. So, you know, that's a, that's a huge weight on my shoulders and, and something I take very, very seriously. I can imagine. Yeah, absolutely. You're very passionate about what you do. So that's a, that's a given. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Thanks for watching this episode of Leader Tips Q&A. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes come out. If you have a question for me, or if you have a question that you'd like to see addressed on a future episode, go ahead and put it in the comments. Thanks for watching. <laughs>